only players can win elegant jewelry, a large screen TV, a digital camera, or a luxurious dream vacation. And continue toward cash and prizes, including a brand new car and $50,000 in cash. Total over $100,000 on the line today on Sale of the Century. Now, here's your host, the star of the Sale of the Century, Brandon Scrubs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of Sale of the Century right here at FVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. We're back with three more contestants ready to try their luck to buy some great merchandise, have a chance to win some fabulous prizes, possibly walk out of here with $100,000 in cash. So let's meet our players vying for all the cash and prizes today. Starting with two returning faces from our Season 1. And they're back here to try their luck off. First off, once again, coming to us from the Great White North, we have Mr. Justin Noyes. Justin, welcome back to Sale the Century, sir. Thank you. It's been a long time. It has. I haven't seen him since uh, the st since season one, but he is back with us, and he will be participating throughout season two. Just to remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself, sir. From Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, and I'm a gamer and a huge sports fan. Fantastic. Glad to have you back here with us, and good luck to you tonight here on Sale of the Century. Our second uh, our second contestant here, our uh, good friend from the uh, great state of Massachusetts by way of New Bedford. We have Mr. Eric Lima. Eric, welcome in. Nice to be back here on Sale of the Century, Brandon. Fantastic. Haven't seen him since season one as well. He participated in that epic championship game first time. Come very close to actually winning it all, sir. Do you, re you think you could do just as well, if not better, this season? I'm hoping to do well this season. I know um, it's going to be we're going to have a lot of great players out there. So I'm facing two great contestants here. So it's going to be a heck of a season. All right. Well, good luck to you today uh, here Thank on sale. Much. And our third contestant, you saw him on the last episode, but with our with our limited number of contestants, we had to select from. He was the one who had played the least of all the others that were out here. So he's back with us with a one game total now so far of forty thousand six hundred seventy nine dollars cash of prizes. We have Frank Satori. Frank, welcome back. It's great to be back, Sir Scruggs. Yeah, wasn't expecting to see you back here so quickly, but with the contestant rules and how we uh, select our contestants for the show, you got the luck of the draw. Do you think you can win the lot this time around? <laughs> Well, I came super, super close to winning it the last time, but of course I have to get to the end before I can win the lot. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm ready to have a good time. Yeah, you got two really good contestants here. These were two that were really battling it out throughout most of your first season here. So this one's going to be a keeper, folks. I have a feeling about it. So good luck to everybody. We're going to go ahead and unlock the buzzers for all three of our contestants, as you know. And we're going to get started here. We're giving you each 20 bucks in your bank. All right. As always, i got trivia questions for you. Answer them correctly. You'll get $5. If you miss it, however, you'll lose $5. And remember, one person per question. So right or wrong, we move on to a new question afterward. And remember, along the way, you'll have a chance to buy some instant bargains, chance at the fame game board. Possibly one of you has a chance to crack the vault and see if you can win some fabulous cash there. But for now, we'll get started with this first question here on sale of the century we start with this what american city is known as the big apple that's frankie new york city that's correct well done you got five there you're up to 25. all right players what type of aircraft has wings but no motor that's frankie again is it a helicopter no i'm sorry actually looking for a glider a glider is what we were looking for there, so you lose five back down to, back down to 20 again. All right, what composer wrote the European Union anthem, Ode to Joy? Frankie. Uh, was that Mozart? No, sorry, not Mozart. That's actually Beethoven. Beethoven is what we're looking for there. So uh, you lose five there, drop down to 15. All right, players, what did America purchase from Russia for two cents an acre in March of 1867? That's Frankie. A Louisiana purchase? 
No, it was not Louisiana Purchase. It was actually the state of Alaska. The state of Alaska is oh. for two cents an acre. I'd like to get some land today for that price. I ain't gonna lie. All right, you drop down to ten, Frankie. It's all right. We continue on. Next question. What's the largest frog in the world? Is it Frankie? Bullfrog? No, I'm sorry, not the bullfrog. It's known as the Goliath frog. The Goliath frog is what we there. So you lose five down to five dollars. Off to a rough start for Frankie on this one, but it's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, the player in the league gets a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. A sales surprise with a cash bonus could pop up at any time. Justin and Eric, without doing anything, you both are tied for the lead. So you guys get the first chance to buy this first prize. Remember, once you hear the low sale of century price, be the first player to buzz in, and you will get to buy this. It's a beautiful Ashley sofa. This beautiful Ashley sofa may have you sitting in the lap of luxury in your home, normally priced at $2,000. Yours today on sale this century for just $6. <coughs> I tell you what, producer's going to be nice. He's going to knock off a dollar off the price. So it costs of one question, get you a $2,000 sofa and put something in your bank. Guaranteed to be yours. $2,000 sofa, and you know what? Just to entice you a little more. I'll throw in $500 in cash. $2,500 instant bargain for the price of one question. Going once. Going twice. Justin's going to buy. Well done, sir. Congratulations. I will credit you your $500 in cash there to your account. And to take the value of the question also. Now, Eric, you sit with a $5 leave with $20. Justin is second with $15. Frankie with $5. And we have more questions here. Here's your next one, players. All right, David Prowess, James Earl Jones, and Sebastian Shaw all played which classic uh, Star Wars baddie? That's Frankie. Darth Vader. That is correct. There you go. Now we're moving back in the right direction. You're up to ten. Here's your next one. Luis, I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Is the last line of what wartime classic movie? That's Eric. That will be Casablanca. It is Casablanca. Very good, sir. You're up to 25. Yeah. All right. George Bailey is the central character in which Christmas classic? That's Eric again. It's a Wonderful Life. It is a Wonderful Life. And you got that right. You're up to 30. Time out for the fame game, players. All right, players. It's time for our very first fame game of the day. Remember, this is not for... Uh, money for your bank but this is for a pick of the fame game board where we have prizes surprises and more importantly those money cards up there ten dollar money card on the board for this first round as we look for this famous thing famous thing buzzing if you think you know it i am an object used in for recreation and sport i first emerged in the 1950s by the 1970s my design was well advanced I'm an offshoot of a popular water sport. I'm used in extreme sports competitions. You could ride on me. You could do tricks on me. I have four small wheels. And, that, and that's Eric. Skateboard. Skateboard is correct. Very good. Well done, sir. All right, that means you get first pick of the fame game board there. We got nine numbers up there. Which one would you like? Lucky number seven, please. Number seven. Behind number seven, we have a trip to Palm Springs. There we go. You know, guess we have a chauffeur limo from Los Angeles to beautiful Palm Springs for a beautiful three-night stay in a fabulous suite there. That price is normally valued $825, sir. Well done. Thank you. All right, so that trip's yours to keep no matter what happens. Two players were surprises so far, so everybody's got some winnings in their bank for the season now. We return on to our questions here. Eric on the lead with 30, Justin with 15, Frankie with 10, and this $5 question. Who provides the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Frankie? Tim Allen. In the Toy Story films, Tim Allen is correct. There you go. Up to 15. <laughs> exactly. Good one there. Here's your next one, players. Who is the bumbling English spy played by Rowan Frankie? 
Is that Mr. Bean? Judges, can we take that? No, sorry, we cannot take that one there. Uh, the answer we were the answer we were looking for on that one is actually uh, Johnny English is the name of the is the name of the spy himself there. Johnny English is what we're looking for, Frankie. So can't give you that one. We will drop you down to ten dollars. Here's your next question. Which island in the Indian Ocean gives its name to a 2005 animated film? It's Frankie. Madagascar. There you go. That's right. Got the five right back. And just like just like the the great characters from that film of Madagascar, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. Right to a commercial break, because we'll be right back with more Sailor Century right after this. Back here on Sale the Century, it's now time for our next instant bargain. Eric, you are the lone man in the lead this time. You've got 30 bucks. You've got a $15 lead over both Justin and Frankie. Maybe I can interest you in buying this. A two-carat diamond ring. Shower your woman in the excellence of this beautiful cut two-carat diamond ring, normally priced at $4,589. Yours today on sale this century for just ten dollars. Wow, the producers giving being really nice wanting you to buy this one, lowering the price of the instant bargain down to seven bucks, sir. Seven dollars for a forty-five hundred dollar beautiful diamond ring. Buzzing if you want to buy, you'll still have the lead. Going once, going twice. Not chancing it. Not chancing no it. No sale. Do okay. Too good. I can't give up that lead. Can't. All right, fair enough. We'll put, we'll put that ring back in the uh, prize closet. We'll give we'll give you the way to somebody else. We'll continue on with the game again as we recap the scores. Eric with thirty, Frankie and Justin both with fifteen, and I have this five dollar question. Here it is. All right, players, who played the Hatter in the two thousand ten version of Alice in Wonderland? That's Frankie. Johnny Depp. That is correct. Very good. You're up to twenty. All right, the 2011 film Puss in Boots was the spinoff from what film? Frankie? Uh, Shrek. Shrek is correct. Very good. 25 for you now. Only $5 behind. Eric, here comes your next one. Complete the title of this 2011 film. Me and... Frankie? Myself? No. Didn't even give me a chance to get the uh, choices there. The correct answer is me and Orson Welles. Orson Welles was the name of the film there from 2011. So you lose five there. You drop back down to 20. Here's your next one. All right. The opposite sides of a standard six-sided die always add up to what number? Justin. Six. No, I'm sorry. It's actually seven. They add up to seven. The opposite sides of a die typically do. All right, so you drop down to 10. No problem. Here's your next question. What players, what's the only metal that is liquid at room temperature? Justin. Mercury. There you go. That's right. Got that $5 right back there. All right, time for our second fame game of the day. We have a $10 money card on the board. We're now going to add a $15 money card this time. As we look for this famous place, famous place buzzing if you think you know it. I am a vast natural area. I am the oldest national park in the world. I span over three U.S. states, one of those states being Montana. I have beautiful canyons, waterfalls, lakes, and forests inside of me. I have over half of the world's geysers located here as well. Old Faith, Eric. Would that be Yellowstone National Park? It would be Yellowstone. You are correct, sir. Uh, well, uh, well, well done there for you. All right. Another pick of the fame game board for you. Remember, we have a 10 and a $15 money card up there somewhere. What number would you like? Yeah. <clears throat> let's try number three. Number, th th number three. Let's see if he's back there behind number three this time. We have... 
some of the luggage. All right, perfect for that uh, trip. Per trip to Palm Springs. Yeah, use that yeah. luggage on your trip to Palm Springs, and that's valued at six hundred and sixty dollars, sir. Well done. All right. All right, we got you. Got you a trip. You got you some luggage to carry your stuff in. Uh, not, a, not a bad day for you so far, Eric. All right. All right. Thirty dollars for Eric. Twenty for Frankie. Fifteen for Justin. We continue on with this next question for five players. All right, players. In the Bible, Judas betrayed Jesus for how many pieces of silver? Eric. Thirty. Thirty is the correct answer. Very good. Up to thirty-five. <clears throat> All right, players. How many feet are there in a yard? Frankie. 12 feet. No, I'm sorry. Only, there's a, only three feet in a yard. Only three feet in a yard feet. there. Drop down to 15. All right, players, math question for you. What is the square root of 144? Frankie. 12. It is 12. You're correct, sir. Well done. And I know that's the correct answer because the, the, my card here, whoever wrote wrote this one, has written down seven. Apparently, huh? Yeah, apparently somebody cannot do any math at all. So, yeah, while I, while I go fire my question writers, or at least my editors in this case, we'll take another commercial break. More Sale of the Century right after this. <laughs> Back on sale this century now. We've got more questions on the way. Eric with a lead with $35. Frankie in second with $20. Justin with $15. Still a relatively close game. We'll see what happens as we continue on with this next question. The player for $5. The black keys on the piano are traditionally made of what type of wood? And that is time. Traditionally, I guess you guys have never heard the old song Ebony and Ivory. E e ebony. That's referring to the keys on a piano. Ebony wood is made of the black keys. Ivory is made of the white keys. So. Ah, I see. That's, that's all right. No. Nope. Fun fact: you learned something today. See, game shows are not only fun and entertaining; they're also educational in some cases. The more you know. On the NBC. Uh, NBC's gonna <laughs> NBC's gonna come after me for that one. I already see it now. Anyway, we continue on. Here's your next question, players. How many furlongs are there in a mile? Is it four, six, or eight? Frankie. Uh, I'll guess four. No, I'm sorry. It's actually eight. It's actually eight furlongs in a mile there. You drop down to 15 again. What type of animal is a dachshund? Frankie. A dog. It's a puppy dog. You're right. Back up to 20. And that sound means it is time... To open the vaults, Eric, with with a fifteen dollar lead over Frankie and Justin right now, you are the one that can access the vault today. Back behind the old sale, the Century Vault players, uh, Eric, for you, I have a ca there's cash in there. There is cold hard cash. Could be anything from a dollar all the way up to ten thousand dollars. If you want to open that vault. It's going to cost you 15 bucks, which is currently what you have for the lead. But for $15, you can take a shot, open the vault, whatever in there is yours to keep no matter what happens. You'll be in a tie with Frankie for the lead, buzzing if you want to crack the vault. Going once. Going twice. Nope. Frankie's too good. Does I not got want it. Okay. No. Well, let's, let's see. Um, nobody gets the cash in the vault today. Well, that's, I think, this is the first time we've not opened the vault in an episode, so let's see how much was in there for you. I bet it was $2. Oh. No, we had 196 right. bucks back there. $196. Which, which still, you would have ten times your money, but hey, it's alright, you kept your $15 lead. You still got 35 Frankie at 20 Justin 15 Again, anybody's... Anybody's game still? We'll continue on with this next question. Players, in the nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, what instrument did the cat play? Frankie? A fiddle. That is correct. Up to 25. 
Alright. Players, the character Holly Gottley appears in which book and film? Mm -mm. I don't even know that one. And time. Correct answer there is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Ah. Fantastic. Oh, damn. Fantastic okay. movie there. We continue on. Here's your next one. Uh, players, what was the last state to join the USA? Justin. Alaska. No, I'm sorry. It was not Alaska. It was Hawaii. Hang off the game, players. Yeah, Alaska was state number 49. Hawaii was number 50 there. So you dropped down to $10 there. And it is now time for our third and final fame game of the day. Players, all three money cards on the board. We've yet to find a money card this season. We have a 10, a 15, and a 20. And now a $25 money card up there. So, Justin, catch that $25 money card. You'll be tied with Eric for the lead. And we will continue on. We will continue on with the game. We are looking for a famous person this time. Famous person, Buzz. And when you think you know it. I am a fictional movie character. I was left behind when my friends returned home. I was chased away by government officials. Lost and homesick, I befriended... Frankie? Is it E.T.? It is E.T. You are correct. Yes. On very limited information, too. Uh, if we friended a 10-year-old boy, tried to help me get home from another planet three million light years away. Favorite candy was Reese's Pieces, and he's known by two initials. It is E.T. You are correct, sir. All right, Frankie, you can take the lead here if you can find that 15 or $25 money card. But find the 10, you'll be in a tie for the lead. What number would you like? Mumbo number five, aha! Just, just no. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just no. But I will give, I will give you what's behind number five, and behind number five we have the burglar space. Oh. Well, that could, that changes things a little bit, Frankie. You could stake five dollars from one of your opponents. Who would you like to take it from? Oh, Eric. Fine. Go ahead. I don't care. We're uh, tied for the lead. You just got swapped there, sir. All right, and now we take a look at the scores. Eric and Frankie both at 30. Justin just a few dollars back at 10. And it's time for the speed round. May I have 60 seconds of the clock, please? Again, players, we're going rapid-fire questions in this round. Try to get as many in as we can in the 60 seconds. Remember, you get answer correct, you get five. You miss it, you lose five. Player with the most money at the end of the speed round will be declared the winner. All right? And th remember, the clock will not start until I finish reading the first question. You won't be able to buzz in until then. All right? So we start this speed round now. Who started the Richard Gear? Who starred with Richard Gere in the movie Runaway Bride? Is it Julia Roberts, Nicole Kidman, Demi Moore, or Uma Thurman? Eric. Julia Roberts. Right. What's the common name for the game of Pickup Stick? Is it Jack Straw? Frankie? The first one. Right. What breed of dog was named after a state of Mexico? Frankie. Chihuahua. Right. The homeopathic cure of inserting needles into the skin is called what? Frankie. Acupuncture. Right. Which of these is not a reptile? Turtle, mole, lizard, or snake? Frankie. A mole. Right. Where would you find the zest of a lemon? In the seed, the juice? Frankie. The peel. Right. What's the common name for the all-white ball in a game of billiards or pool? Justin. Cue ball. Right. What's the highest federal court in the U.S.? Frankie. The Supreme Court. Right. Robin Williams shot out to fame as a lovable... What? Lovable TV alien. Frankie. Boy. Is correct, and you've won the game! Yeah! Woohoo! Well, Good game, guy. Got through, got through all the questions there. Didn't miss a single one. Well done to everybody here. So, congratulations, Frankie. Going back to for a shot at the lot here in just a minute. But first, we got to say goodbye to our other plot contestants here. Justin, you did fairly well for yourself for your first time out. Fortunately, just luck was maybe not on your side completely this time around. But you did pick up that uh, beautiful 
couch and that instant bargain, sir, along with the $500 in cash plus the cash in front of you, multiply that by 50. You walk out of here with a nice, healthy total for your first game back here of $3,250, sir. Well done. All right. All right. And for you, Eric, you picked up some... You picked up some good prizes too. You got fourteen hundred eighty-five dollars. We multiply the cash in front of you by fifty. You did very well for your first game here, sir. A little, just a few dollars behind Justin here. You finished with three thousand two hundred thirty-five dollars in cash. Well done. All right, pretty good. I'm going to Palm Springs now. I'm packing up my stuff and I'm going. See you later. <laughs> All right. Well, you enjoy that trip, and we're going to take a trip to Commercial Town because when we come back. Franny's going to get a shot to play for over $100,000 in our big bonus round. Will he win the lot? Find out right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sale of the Century here. Frankie is today's big winner so far with $40,679 in cash and prizes so far. He's won. Didn't pick up anything today, but he's going to have a chance at something here in our big Sale of the Century <coughs> round. So, Frankie, you ready? I'm ready. Come on over. Come on down. Wrong show, sir. All right, welcome into the big sale of the century round, Frankie. Let's take a look and see what you'll be playing for today. For $80, you can win a floor clock worth over $5,400. For $190, you can win a dining room group and dinnerware worth almost $7,500. For $200, you can win a boat package worth over $9,000. $310. You can win. A camper worth almost $10,000. For $420, you can win. A trip to Italy worth $22,000. For $530, you can win. A Dodge Caravan SE worth over $22,000. For $640, you can win. The cash prize of $50,000. And for $750, you win all the prizes on stage for a total of $126,499 today on sale of the century. Over $126,000 on the line for you, Frankie, and you'll see if you can win it all. You get $10 for every dollar... You get $1 for every $10 you earn in the main game. You finish with $65, so we'll put $6 in your bank. Now, as you know, there are 25 numbers up on the board here. Cash amounts behind them ranging from $5 all the way up to $250. You get five picks of the game board, get up to $750, and you walk away with a whole lot of cash prizes. So when you're ready, start picking. Good luck to you. I'll start with 18. Number 18. 18, we have... $250! Hey, hey. There we wow. go. Good start. Let's go to number 10. Number 10. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. What do we have there? $100. Okay. okay. Hey. All right, let's do seven. Number seven. Let's see what we have behind Lucky Seven. $200! Hey. Whoa! $556, sir. You need another $194, and you walk away with everything on stage. Holy crap. You got two Number picks. 25. 25. Last on the list. Looking for some money behind 25. $250. He's got it. And four picks. He managed to get everything on the board. So we're going to take the $750 out of your bank. That leaves you with $56 left in cash, sir. For winning the lot, you get that cash multiplied by $1,000 and added to your winnings for a grand total, Frankie, in two games. Here on Sale of the Century, you have won a grand total of $223,178 in cash and prizes. Congratulations. Oh, my God. That is... The luck on the draw. That was good. That was good. I don't think I've ever seen wow. it. I've ever seen the lot one in just uh, four picks like that. But that was an impressive picking, sir. Well done for you. All on the first try, too. Because you usually need a second chance to win those things. That's typically done. But well done, sir. Congratulations to you.
What do you got to say, Frankie? I'm speechless right now. I can't believe that happens. <laughs> well, well done. Like I said, yeah, you just won yourself over $100,000 in prizes, not to mention $100,000 in cash on top of that. So, well played, sir. Well played indeed. Well, that is definitely our yep. first big lot win of the season. We're, we managed to give it away. Can we do it again on our next episode? You'll have to find out then. But in the meantime, between time, Alec, thank you so much for watching in the fun-filled episode of Sale of the Century. Remember, if you like the series and you want to see more of it, all you got to do is click that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the instant bargains come flying your way once again and we have more chances to give away a lot of cash and prizes, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Sale of the Century. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on Sale of the Century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as of time or taking. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MDG production.